Canada is setting itself up to go real dark media wise. Now, this whole thing about the Canadian government is pushing Facebook and Instagram to pay for to pay for its news media. Canada doesn't need Facebook and Instagram to pay for its news media. Canada's news media is funded by public sector. It's government funded media. It's state run media. That's why a year or a year and a half ago when Elon Musk bought Twitter, I made several videos begging him to post. Canadian CBC or CTV is funded in part by or funded in fully by taxpayers, right? And it happened. It happened like a year after. And finally, somebody caught wind or something or they saw it as, let's be fair. We do it to RT. We do it to press TV. Let's do it to Canada because Canada's in the same boat. Now, you need to ask your question. Ask this question. Canada has a lot to gain to go dark in its media. Canada hasn't had a major distraction. They had the fires. They kind of fizzled that out. Canada is in need of a major distraction now. And they're not getting it. Okay, Donald Trump, that was on the front page. He's going to jail, indicted, this and that. And that just give you three, four days of news. Canada needs to be off the radar. Canada is going to go dark. Canada is going to go very draconian and dark. And this is a win for the Canadian government. Now, you're probably thinking, well, I mean, people can still share news. Yeah, yeah. But this is how it starts. And they're going to start banning people on YouTube from discussing Canadian media. And they're going to start going on other platforms that are already under the umbrella of the world's form or economic order or whatever they want to call themselves this week. But this is not new. Go back to a video we made back in early 2019. Australia was pulling the same thing. Australia was pulling the same thing. They were demanding Facebook and Instagram pay for media. And we covered here on this channel. And not sure how much is funded by government in Australia, their media. It wouldn't surprise me if it was like Canada and it's fully funded by taxpayers. But Canada needs to go dark. Start removing itself from social media platforms outside of Canada. Because if you look at Canadian media, it's it's almost like they don't want to tell you anything, even though the pendulum has swung back. The aftermath is here. Heck, there's people dying with no with no with no cause no cause reported of death. Multiple people dying. So Canada's in need of a massive distraction. They're gonna go dark. And they're gonna have to remove themselves off the platforms before they go really heavy draconian in twenty twenty four. Like we said, 2024 will be the year of government-sanctioned murder. And this is how we've been how it's been building up here on the channel over the years. And we've been, unfortunately, very accurate with a lot of our predictions. And I'm, I'm afraid of this. So ask yourself, Canada has a lot to gain going dark on social media when it comes to its media. Everyone knows it's fake. Everyone knows it's propaganda. But you've got to ask yourself, why do they want to go dark? And if they do go dark, what are they planning to do to us here in Canada? There's a lot of things in the works right now. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK, and the blue states of America are a part of it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments. I want to know what you guys think. You know, the Bill C-11, 19, all these different bills to silence us in the name of no confidence in government. And the world needs to know that Canadians have zero confidence in government. Are they planning another rigged election, just like the snap election? Are they planning that? So the media doesn't get out and say, what, Trudeau got selected again? So, so this way it doesn't really get out as much? What are they planning? Why do they want us to go dark? This is a win-win for the Canadian government. This is a win-win for the Canadian government. Not being able to post on Facebook and Instagram. They purposely set that up so they won't be able to, to post on Instagram and Facebook. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do the Canadian government have planned for us? For the uh, non-compliant compliancers? Look forward to reading comments. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.